Hi there. In this lecture, we see Emmanuel Lascat against Herman Hells, 1894. Simultaneous display. Let's have a look at this. E4 from Lascat. We have E5, knight f3, knight c6. Bishop b5, d6, the old Steinitz defense. d4, bishop d7. We have d takes e5. d takes e5, knight c3. Bishop d6, bishop g5. Knight g e7, and now knight d5. So this is very interesting. There's quite a bit of pressure on the black position. We have actually f6. And now a very interesting move by Lasker. Can you guess what he played for 100 points? Very interesting tactical move. Bishop takes f6. Yeah, this helps expose the king. And immediately black goes kind of wrong with king f7. King f8 had to be played it seems. And for example knight g5, knight g8, knight takes d7. This is just an example variation where check king g7, queen g3 is about equal. It's complicated but uh, in the game with king f7 knight takes d7 is played and now yeah, knight g6, because if queen takes d7, can you see what white plays here? Yeah, white just wins the queen, knight takes e5 check, those two pins here and here. So white just wins the queen there, so that's unpleasant. So, yeah, this is not very good now after knight takes d7, knight g6, makes things worse. Maybe king g7 was the way to go here. For example, c4. So that on takes, there's c5. Let's put that on the board. And this position should be an advantage for white still, though. But it's not as great as the game continuation. So there's some complicated tactics going on here. But uh, it's not as great as the game continuation. White well, should have a small edge. Okay, but with knight g6, we have queen d5 check, king e7, knight c5, and that's poking into the e6 square, as well as knight takes b7. So we have knight f4. So with the queen attacked, guess what white plays here, which is interesting. Okay, let's get undermined the c6 knight. Knight takes b7, so hitting in return the opponent's queen. We have queen b8. If knight takes d5, knight takes d8, this situation is ending up better for white. So queen b8, but this loses the c6 knight. That's taken. Knight takes g2 is not much compensation at all. We have queen d7 check. Rook g1, and this is the end of the game. It cuts escape squares. And let's see, if knight e6, rook g5 is strong. So this is a very, very powerful idea of rook f5. The black king has basically had it here. So for example, knight takes d6 there. This is, is just chomping all the black's pieces up, two pieces up. So quite a crushing simultaneous display game. Very, very tactical. And, you know, key star move here, bishop takes f6, opening up black's king, creating a lot of very, very interesting possibilities. Very dynamically played game. And simultaneous display, really quite amazing stuff. I hope you enjoyed that one. Thanks so much.